Hi, I'm Murdo. I'm a co-founder and volunteer at the Cobblequid Wildlife Rehabilitation Centre. And I'm standing in our large raptor facility, also known as the Big Jeezley. This is a remarkable structure. It's an extended octagon, so it has an unlimited flyway, which I'm standing in, which allows the birds of prey to fly continuously without coming in contact with another wall or structure. This part of the building is the last stop before they are released. Once we know they can fly in here, and they can climb up to the high perch up there, or to any of the low perches, and they're able to fly around in a continuous circle, we know they're ready to be released. Um, we'd love to be able to bring people in here and show them uh, this building, but unfortunately we're not open to the public. Uh, we do this to protect the animals. It's in their best interest and for their speedy recovery that they don't interact with people or re interact as minimally as possible. Most of them are in here because of some interaction with people. And wild animals in general are very stressed in captivity and they're also stressed by the sound of people and the sign of people. So for that reason, uh, we minimize any people in this building. We do like to share what we do and we do film a lot and take a lot of photographs in here but one of the things that we'd love to do is to put in a live camera so we can stream the eagles to the web and that way people can watch whenever they like. However these kind of cameras are not, uh, they're not cheap very expensive. So this is why we are starting a fundraising campaign so that we could invite you in here through the web. The addition of high-end video cameras in the facility will also enable us to remotely monitor the animals. We know for sure that as soon as we come down the walkway they hear us and they all move to the back corner of the building. So their behavior changes uh, whenever we're in here. To remotely monitor them would give us the advantage of watching them uh, when they are not afraid of people and when they, they know there's nobody around. And what this will do is allow us to see who's eating, who's eating what, uh, when they bathe, how they behave when we're not around. So that's rather important for us to determine their overall health and how quickly they're recovering from whatever injuries brought them in here. The upside is that we could also share this with the, with the world. We can, we can stream one of the cameras or more of the cameras to the web and allow people to see the animals in our care.